Alright, what's going on? We got Poe on Red, some little glitches I was working on when my internet was down. So we got the Helix Fossil, you know, just catching that real quick. And let's just go ahead and go to the famous bridge. And there's our rival, Mr. Swagalax himself. And of course he wants to battle, like, whoa, he wants to give us money? No, he wants to battle us first. It's like, pay to battle us. It's like we're a famous YouTuber or something. Anyway, sends out Pidgeotto, aka Congo. And I sing out Jigglypuff, aka Jigglypuff Gumbuff. But, anyways, I'm gonna use Sing first, just because you know that's what Jigglypuff does. I mean, what else is Jigglypuff gonna do? So we're just gonna switch. And we're gonna bring out Gummo Plant X. I know that was a really long name, but whatever. We're gonna lead seed because that's the most broken move in this game in this generation. Unfortunately, not as much as other generations, but that's besides the point. So we got Lee Seed. Now we're going to switch out. I'm going to go near Reno. You're probably wondering want to know why my Pokemon are like level 18, you know, whatever. It's because I grind it a lot. Because you know me, I'm a grinder. That means I grind things, you know. Grind T, check. Grind axes, check. You know, I just grind everything. And Pokemon is no exception. So, hey, we're going to go ahead and just keep going. Got Pizzioto Poison. That's pretty good. Gum Gust, though. I mean, in this generation, Gust was actually a normal type move that Pidgey got level 1. So, when it came to Generation 2, Pidgey had Tackle instead of Gust. We were like, what the hell? Because Gust was a flying move. Apparently, was OP at level 1. But that's okay. Sand Attack's still there. I mean, pfft. Screw Sand Attack. Oh, by the way, if Poison knocks it out, Lee still works. That's the big, big importance. Because they can recover your health. Even if the opponent gets knocked out before. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, we got a level. Abra comes out. This is like the only time that Abra is going to be like weak. In those rival fights. Because after that, Abra is not a laughing joke. Not because he can out potentially outspeed anything. It's just because of the fact that it's psychic type. And this era, there is no dark types there's no steel types otherwise magnum might have problems against fire pokemon but whatever uh he sends out ratata just because it it's it's a pokemon i mean you know it's not like you know it's not it's like a digimon or something like that no anyways ratata just keeps using quick attack blah 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 i use vine whip you know guy with the rat out <laughs> anyways uh, level 20, uh, I'm not really paying attention to levels, because I can just grind really quickly on this, which is really nice. Uh, he sends out Charmander, I'm just going to late seed, even though he could have Charmeleon, but that was his dirt based fault, because sometimes Swagalox misclicks buttons. Hashtag misclick much, bro? Anyways, I'm going to switch out to just uh, Bees Drill real quick, just because I can. And... Woo, that Leer, though. Oh, boy, I'm so scared of Leer. Let's just go ahead and get the Fear Attacks going. He does not Leer. This puts him in a danger zone whenever he hits a, quote, move. Because, uh, you know, fire beats bug thing. But, that whatever. Anyways, Poisoning comes in after Evner hopefully doesn't kill me. I mean, Beastrill is actually known for special defense, but not in, like... Like, it's a special tank! It could take special attacks! It could take a hyper beam from my Deoxys! Not that strong. But it's strong enough to take on the Edmund from Charmander. But Spiro, not so much. So we gotta figure out how to switch it. I'm gonna switch to Neo because Neo is that powerful. Just go straight for the horn attack. You know, just because I can. Now. But he is gonna growl and well at least he's gonna finish it. At least he's Thank you. <sighs> Anyways, we beat the we beat Swagalax with his hacks. Calling him a hacker. And no. You, got, you, you think you won. You think I won? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I won. And a lot of Pokemon Pokedex because the Bill is a famous Pokemon mechanic of all time. He's a cherry, you can't even respect for him. Because he. But I'll just smell you later, bro. Let's just go ahead and skip to the meal glitch, shall we? Dur, dur. Anyways, we just beat everyone on the bridge. We're gonna do the glitch, and. 
Well, I kind of fail on that. We're going to go ahead and... Yeah, there we go. Much better. Much, much better. Okay. Now, let's just go ahead. Practice the start. There we go. We got it. We got it. We got the first part of the glitch right. We got the first part of the glitch right. Now, the thing is, you can't battle that guy. You can battle anybody else, but you can't battle that guy. So, anyway, let's just see. Um, part two is you have to battle another trainer with this glitch. I think there might be some details, but meh. Whatever. Let's see what this happens. Well, you know, we already got the hard part of the glitch done. It, it can't be any harder than this. So, I was like, oh, I'm going to Bill's house. I was like, yeah, I'm going to Bill's house. I mean, it's part of the quest. And now you want to fight. Okay. So, let's see. Fattest hiker in A, or Japan, depending on what region you're from, sends out an Onyx. Onyx does not have the fifth generation sturdy, so that means he'll be easily to kill. Awesome. I say fifth because, you know, first, uh, third and fourth didn't have the, quote, special powers. So, fifth generation Onyx is definitely better than first generation Onyx. So, what's he going to do, Vine Whip, and just, just, just kill it? There we go. Critical hit was not necessary, but that's okay. We'll take it. Because I defeated a hiker. You know it'd be funny if they have the word hitch right before hiker? Be like, hitch hiker. <laughs> Anyways, okay, let's just go ahead and do the next part of the glitch. This should definitely get us a Mew. By sure. I'm pretty sure by fact and blah, blah, blah. Now, the thing is, we're going to see Mew come up. You know, he's going to, like, show them... Okay, it's like, right now I can't even activate the menu. I tried doing that. You see, I can't do the menu, so I can't fly anywhere. So whatever trainer battle I'm going to do, I have to be able to walk there. Or surf, or whatever have I. No words. There we go. That was a Mew glitch right there. That's not a Mew. Let's just go back. Okay, I think we've done something wrong. Because I know that was a Q-Bone for sure. I know Cubone is one of the first Pokemon cards I ever had. Uh, the first. So we're going to go ahead and redo that portion. After looking into it, it turned out to be Slowpoke. I have to battle a kid with a Slowpoke in order to get Mew. So, yeah, we're going to get it right. Now, obviously I can't go at the very top because, you know, glitch out, whatever. It's like, oh, my dad took me on a party. Like, on the SSA. At... At the Ver, at Ver, Merlin, whatever city, whatever city, yeah, we're gonna call it whatever city. There's gonna be a lot of whatever cities. City one, whatever city two, three, four, five. You get the idea. Okay, there's Slowpoke. Let's just kill this thing once and for all. And I'm having Jigglypuff as the lead just because, well, you know, I don't want to take a chance. I want to be able to fight Mew and be ready for it any moment. Cause you know that Mew is a real pain in the butt ninja. This is where the game was like, Slowpoke was actually one of the most powerful Pokemon in the game. You can like Psychic, freaking Surf, uh, Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, I think. And, you know, it, it had a lot of Moo Pools that it could do for the first two generations. It was like Lapras, almost. It, Lapras had like Solar Beam and Thunder, uh, Thunderbolt, but, or Thunder even. I mean, Lapras was a scary Pokemon first generation. But, I mean,. Second generation is where it was became most potent because of sunny day and you know rain dance and such. But after that, it became pretty invalid. So now we're gonna try this again, and this time, okay, here we go. Here comes Mew. There we go. Oh, thank goodness we got this Mew. I mean, fifth generation, yeah, I got Mews and everything else. It was an easy catch, but you know. This is finally it. So I just managed to save the state. Just because I can. Because in the future, safe states are possible. Yeah. Anyways, we're going to sing this little thing to sleep. Because I don't know what the catch rate is. And I'm not going to Google it either. Because, you know, pfft, screw that. We're just going to catch this thing with our own knowledge. A.K.A. the 100% catch glitch. <laughs> Whatever. We're going to switch the base drill. Get a few hits on it. I'm like, crap. Gotta switch it out. It's Jelly Puff sing again. And now we get to throw some Pokeballs at it. Oh, crap. I forgot to buy. I can't believe it. I forgot to buy. 
Ah, and I group up the glitch. Problem is, I forgot to buy, so I'm like down. I have to catch me in the seven Pokeballs I have. This could take a few tries. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We're gonna try again. Throw the Pokeball at it. Throw the Pokeball at it. Nope. Okay. Well, fine. Okay, we still have like five Pokeballs. No big deal. Here comes number five. Catch the. This Mew is the pain in the butt. Screw it, I'm just gonna throw a Pokeball at it. Hashtag did it. Mewtwo didn't want to be asleep when it get caught. That was the problem. Sleep made a catch rate go up or whatever. But I caught Mew. I caught it. I caught it. The little bastard from my childhood is mine now. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, we gotta give it a name. You know what? I'm gonna give it this nickname right here. I'm gonna name it after me, of course. And we're gonna come. Yeah, I know what that one do. I'll wait for y'all to see. I'm gonna say, Gum did it. That's all it needs to be said on that Pokemon. I don't care. It was like, oh, keep the original name. Screw that. I did it. I caught the mute. But thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see y'all next time.